name's Will Murphy, and I'm 10 years old. I'm Pam Murphy, and I'm the mother of Amelia, Claire, and Emma Murphy. Amelia has spina bifida. She was diagnosed when I was 19 weeks pregnant. We were able to get a lot of education under our belt before she was born. We had specialists lined up. So she has spina bifida and lots of other extras along the way. She's had 60 surgeries in 10 years. and um, 57. 57. I'm sorry, I was wrong. 58. 58. She's, 58. Had, she's had close to 60 surgeries in 10 years. I've gotten pretty used to it. Some of it scares me, some of it doesn't. We moved to Cincinnati about seven years ago from Washington State. We needed a hospital that was in the top 10, preferably in both neurosurgery and urology, and had a multidisciplinary clinic for spina bifida. And Cincinnati had all three of those and a good cost of living. And I'm from the Midwest anyway, so Cincinnati won. And we moved here and have not been disappointed. We love it. I cheer, I dance, I play soccer. A lot of my classmates ask me, why is your hair gone? Do you have cancer? Did you have something done? And to that, I say yes. I had surgery done on my head, and they had to shave my head. Sometimes it's a little bit hard, but most of the time, I'm fine with it. Last spring, she had five surgeries in about six weeks. It was a pretty tough time. And when it was time for her to go back to school, her whole head had been shaved, and there were four different incisions on her scalp. And so it was a pretty significant change. And I wondered what she was going to think about going back into a fourth grade class and, and seeing all her friends. And so we talked about that. And her first concern was, is this going to scare my friends? What can I do so that they're not scared? So even then, she was thinking about them first before she was thinking about herself. She's an inspiration, I think, not just to our family. She certainly is to me. When I come home and I've had a tough day at work, I think about how it could be a whole lot tougher. You never know where things are going to take you. You may get really horrible news one day and find out 10 years later that you have the most hilarious, amazing kid in the world and you're all so much better for it. I can't imagine our family being any happier at all.